Of all the scripts you've written, which one has been the one that's the most close to you, most personal story? Uh, a lot of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I try to write from a place of, of you know, myself, uh, just because I find it's just the words end up on the page the most honest that way. Um, this is now is a very personal story. Um, if I had known I was a genius was a very personal story. And this is now sort of a continuation of that. Um, and, and then there's a piece I have called Unrequited um, that... Um, is a very personal story as well. It's very much about finally growing up. Me finally growing up, <laughs> not being uh, a douchebag is what hmm. it is about. Is it easier to commit to a project that's really personal or is it in some ways almost really uncomfortable and it's easy to push something to the back burner because you're like, you know what, Maybe we shouldn't put that out there, or maybe that's too much. I'm too open in this. No, I I think it's I think it's easier to go personal for me. Um, the back burner is only reserved for things that I don't have the money to make yet. <laughs> if I had the funding, I'd make them all. I'd just go right down the line and just shoot all of them. Um, and some things aren't personal at all some things are just like stories or like there's like a topical issue that you know I, I find and I want to write toward that or whatever um, but no I, I would rather I'd rather put it all out there and be proud of it because it's what I wanted to do um, than the opposite I'd, I'd rather I'd rather be true to what it is I want to say and the things I want to say about life and love and relationships and all of that stuff. So, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't shy from that. Is it almost like therapy? Or do you feel Completely. like you've been in like a few years of therapy oh once my you God. finish it? The reason I haven't murdered people was because I write these scripts. <laughs> it's complete. Yeah, it's totally, it's totally therapy, especially unrequited. Um, un unrequited is. It's essentially the story of how I got past what was a completely unhealthy uh, infatuation to find and fall for the woman that is now my wife. Oh, nice. Um, and I had to do that. In order to do that, I had to grow up because my wife is a woman. She's not a girl. <laughs> She's a great woman. And I needed to, I needed to be not just some dude tooling around in Venice being a jackass. You know, I needed to be a guy, I needed to be, I needed to grow up. And that's, that's what that was about. And all of the characters in Unrequited are based on actual people from my life, without exception. So. That one and this is now, in which all the characters are really just slices of myself. So those two are probably the most personal of the scripts that I've written to date. How is it to see that on screen when there's like, maybe there's a major issue you're working on and you put it in a script because you believe in being honest with what you're writing and then you you see it played out, whether it's your character or... It's interesting because I feel like when I'm writing, all of that stuff comes out and I go through the sort of turmoil of it as I'm writing. Um, you know, once it's in the process of editing and I'm actually watching it, then it's just, okay, well, this is the best take and this is the cut and this is that. And, you know, this is the one that's got the most vulnerability, and this is the one that should, it's got the most emotion, let's go here, let's go there. 
it's very odd. I, I, I guess I tend to compartmentalize pretty well um, once I get to that point. It's the writing of it where the work comes in. Like you sit there and you're staring at the page and you read it back. And you're like, oh, I guess you did just write that. <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh -huh. You're going to keep it on the page? You're going to hit delete? What are you going to do? And so I just, all right, so you got to struggle with that and just keep writing. But once it's written, for me, for my films, once it's written, that's it. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Shouldn't have, you know, people, people say all the time with writers, you know, it's like I tell people all the time, I am a thief. I steal from life all the time. If you say something interesting or horrible, I will steal it. I will put it in the script. So be better around me because I will steal. <laughs> I will completely steal. And it's funny because like I love to take these characters that are, you know, broken and make bad decisions because of the conflict. And my wife, she's very much like, you know, she loves like bad guys versus, you know, good guy versus bad guy. Good guy overcomes, you know. So I will tell her these stories and she'll just be like, these people of yours, they make horrible decisions. And I, I know, honey, that's, I know, <laughs> that's, that's the point. I wonder, you know, I, they gotta make bad decisions to make good decisions. And she's just like, ugh, I love you, I support you no matter what, but these characters of yours, ugh, horrible decisions. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. <laughs>